Good morning. Today we're looking at conditions that are going to be a little bit more on the wintry side. Again, we've got some slushy roads out there as temperatures are on the rise. There are some places with a little bit of a mix in the northern valley and all of us will eventually be dealing with some wind today and into tomorrow as well. So uh, not the ideal start to the day. Roads are looking a little better though this morning in some areas simply because we haven't had as much precipitation uh, overnight last night in most spots, but there are some places where we have a fresh coating on the roads. Here's a look at our travel planner. Expect to have to use caution all day long because of the wind and just because of that uh, just slushy road surface across much of the region. And there's always an icy patch or two out there uh, as we head into the winter season. We know that. Here's a look at our winds right now. We are gusting into the 30s and 40s in some areas. The strongest by far has been Langdon. A gust there to 49 miles per hour, but look at our actual uh, steady wind or sustained wind. Those are the numbers in white. 43 miles per hour. That's just constant wind there. And then on top of that, we've got a gust that's a little bit higher than that. Devil's Lake, 35 miles per hour. Grand Forks, a gust to that range as well. And Fargo gusting to 39 out of the southeast. We also have some gusts into the 30s in Fergus Falls and in Detroit Lakes. So that's our big issue today. We're also seeing those temperatures starting above freezing in a lot of spots. And again, that's leading to some a little bit of melting. So watch out for road spray. You're going to need to uh, maybe get that car washed at some point after uh, this warm up here today. We're looking at temperatures into the low to mid 30s in eastern North Dakota. The farther east we go, it is a little cooler. We're below freezing in places like Bidette, Bemidji, Wadena and those areas. That's where visibility looks great. Out to the west, we do have some fog out there, and that will bring down your visibility a little. We don't have any dense fog being reported at the moment, but Langdon, it's down to three miles, and in some areas, it's in the, the mid-range of lower visibility, around five to six miles. So your radar and satellite map, you can see lots of places under clouds, and then it's up north along the border where we've had a little snow, where we've got some mixed precip precipitation potentially back over toward uh, the Langdon area as well, and that's kind of leading us into this system that's going to be moving through as we head into tonight and into tomorrow. And you could see some snow in southern parts of Saskatchewan there, and that's going to be all moving eastward. And we'll be right on the edge of this. We'll all be impacted by the wind, and some of us will get a little bit of snow here. So today, as this is approaching, we've got a big warm up. It's going to be climbing our temperatures into the 30s this morning. If you're not already there, eventually by noon, we're approaching 40 degrees. And then that wind continues out of the south with that mixed precipitation possible mainly up north, but I can't even rule it out in the southern valley as we head into the afternoon. Temperatures mid 30s to down in the southwest, some low 50s potentially. Fargo will be right around 40. And you can see this evening we've got some spotty showers. Notice how our wind may ease up into the evening hours for a short time. And then here we go back into tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Here are those gusts. We'll see some gusts above 40 miles per hour and that chance for some snow, especially in the northern valley. Your seven day planner, more ups and downs tomorrow with that wind uh, continuing and that colder air moving in. We're looking at temperatures right back down to 32. All right, Lisa, thank you.